So you're testing your patient's saccades to the right, back to center, to the left, back to center, bottom, back to center, and top, back to center. Because you know that accurate saccades uh, are uh, essential to have a healthy, stable spine. And what you're finding is that when your, your patient's eyes move from center to an eccentric position, that it requires more than one step. In other words, their eyes don't just move one time, but they move more than once in order to complete that motion then you know that they have dysmetria, okay, more than one step. And so let's just say that in this case, uh, when the patient moved their eyes to the right, uh, they had saccadic dysmetria. So what you can do to improve the accuracy of those saccades, you can use a pursuit mechanism where uh, you will actually pursue from center to the right, and um, that will improve uh, the, the accuracy of saccades to the right.